Okay, good morning guys. Um, <clears throat> I am going to uh, attempt to do a video of the uh, Blackboard, uh, uh, sorry, the review of the midterm that's available on Blackboard. So this is basically your practice assignment, which is worth 20%. Uh, as well as the midterm review. Um, so basically there's three files here, practice worksheets, sample printouts, practice template. The practice worksheets I believe are here. Uh, this is the sheets you can work from uh, to draw the house. Now it's not really convenient to have it sideways this way, so I'm gonna hit this little button here, rotate it around. Hopefully you have something like that on uh, Google Chrome, which if you're smart, you're probably using that. I People have told me not to use Microsoft Edge, but I'm for some reason, for as I have been, I'm still using it. So anyway, uh, hopefully you can rotate your thing around to give you a good view. Uh, the next sample printouts is uh, what you're basically trying to print out um, at the end of this assignment. So you want these three pages to print. <clears throat> um, and then the last file is the practice template, which basically is the Revit file, which I have opened. Um, so I'm just going to get started here. Uh, by the way, if you don't have all of the same type of walls, windows, doors that I'm putting in, um, that's a problem I'm going to have to figure out how to solve going forward, but it's not really your fault, so don't um, don't freak out. The The main idea is that you know how to insert uh, you know, these type of things, you know how to place walls, doors, windows, stairs, all that stuff, um, and of course we need to complement that with uh, your ability to download all of the families you want, so you can draw stuff and make it look the way you want, but for now, for the purpose of these assignments and this exam, I'm basically just looking at your ability to uh, demonstrate these basic skills, not necessarily that you have the exact right type of window or door or your walls are super precise, you know, an inch, you know, exactly down to the millimeter where they're supposed to be, especially in an exam environment. I don't think those type of things matter as much. I'm really just looking at the big picture, kind of the main skills you've picked up. So anyway, just wanted to mention that before we dive in. So here we go, um, let's get started. So we've got a house that is 47 feet 6 inches by 25 foot 8 inches and that looks like it's the center lines of the walls. So let's just get started here, wall, generic. It looks like the wall is just a generic, in that one image it looks here like it's a generic wall but I also saw some renderings with brick on it. So if you, have, if you don't have the brick wall, just go with a generic wall. If you do happen to have a wall that is a brick wall, go with that. Uh, brick on concrete masonry units, brick and block on metal stud, block on metal stud, brick on metal stud. That's what I'm going to go with. Let's go brick on metal stud. So the distances were 47.6. So I'm going to type in 47 feet, 6 inches, punch it. Oh wow, I'm drawing in 3D, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that. Go to level one floor plan. <laughs> Let's start again. Uh, wall, 47 feet, six inches. Okay, and then what was it? 25 feet, eight inches. 25 feet, eight inches. Okay, Let's square off this rectangle, get her done. There we go. I'm just going to do a quick thing here. I'm going to flip to the 3D view. I just want to make sure that the brick is on the outside. Okay, because uh, what I was worried about, let's go back to level one, is that something like this might have been the case where this wall, the brick is facing on the inside, which is what we don't want. So anyway, it was the correct way. If it isn't for some reason, now you know how to flip it and let's proceed. So we've got the main walls on the outside, so now I'm going to start drawing the walls on the inside. Um, 14 foot 2, we have a wall in there. So let's go back here, I'm going to go back to wall. Now these are interior partition walls, so I'm going to select a smaller wall. Again, if you only have generic walls, maybe make it 100 millimeters or something like that and use that type of wall. I'm going to go with a 123 millimeter partition wall, which is basically 2 by 4 with a uh, with drywall on either side and 14 foot 2 just gonna put a wall in there a short stubby one for now I'm gonna jack that to 14 2 11 foot 10 
I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to throw a down click on it and space it after. So 11 foot 10 inches. Okay. And now this is hopefully 12, 21 foot 6 inches. Now we should add dimensions. In the exam, don't worry about adding dimensions. For the practice assignment, you don't have to add all of them, but give it a shot. If you, if you can. If you haven't done it, don't freak out. I think I said before you don't need to put them on. So let you know what, I'm going to stay consistent. You don't have to put the dimensions on, but I will put them on here and there just to confirm I have the right, uh, right lengths. So I'm going to go aligned from here to here to here to here. Those distances look good to me. I'm going to do the overall. Now this text looks a little bit large to me, so I'm going to go 1 to 50. Where is 1 to 50? Come on. Oh, I guess we don't have it. It's in Imperial. I'm just going to start guessing. Hopefully I get it right. Let's go quarter inch. Oh, that's too small. Let's try half in 3 eighth inch. Oh, shit. Wrong way. Um, and I swore. Please don't tell me when I swore. I don't want to get fired. Uh, what am I doing here? There we go. Okay. So, uh, we've got these three walls down. Um, let's try to start closing up some of these rooms, I guess. I guess that's probably the next best step. So, 12 foot. Oh my god, it's some ridiculous dimension. So, 12 foot, 3 inches. I'm not going to mess with Or, you know what? I'm just going to throw two walls down. How would I do this? What's the best strategy? You know what? Let's. I don't know. I'm just going to start with the middle space here. So 10 foot 4 inches from here to here. Let's start there. When in doubt, just start with what you know and work your way out. That's what I'm going to try. So this is 10 foot 4 inches. Okay. Let's extend these walls all the way to there. All the way to there. Okay, we've got that one. Now this is 2 feet and 5 foot 4. I'm going to connect this wall to here. I guess this wall seems to be intersecting somehow. Oh, I'm going to have to pause this for a second. Uh, 